Hi guys, so in today's video I will be working on fixing up our living room for spring. As you see it now, it is still in the winter mode. I've really been itching to put away these winter decorations and get some spring cheer in here. The mantle is all fixed up for spring. You may have seen that video a couple of weeks ago, but in this video I'll be working on the rest of the living room just as I have time and may go over the course of several days. ahead and removed everything I knew I wasn't going to use and it looks very bare but I like to start out with a blank slate of sorts to start to you know fix it up for spring here and I really really wish I could rearrange the whole room um, just give it a new fresh look by rearranging the furniture but with this room it's so hard it's just kind of narrow and long and there's not many options on where to place the furniture um, and I really want to leave the TV here against the shiplap wall, so of course that doesn't really leave a lot of options for the sofa. But I do have one thing in mind here that I want to try, and I'll probably kind of know what's going to happen. I'll probably rearrange it and end up putting it back exactly the way it is, but um, I'm going to see how it looks to put the sofa uh, back into the corner, and then maybe put the love seat over here. Again, I'm kind of hesitant to even try it, but really I have nothing to lose. I don't have a lot of things in my way here, so I'm going to go for it, see how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean as I move the furniture. Um, I don't always clean underneath my furniture, so here's my chance. I'm kind of liking the look of this so far. I wonder what you guys think. Um, I like to see the side of the love seat here with the little you know, wooden legs and then with the shutter hanging on the wall. I kind of like to see that together. I know it's a small thing, but for some reason it's kind of pleasing to my eye. But who knows, maybe I'll change my mind. I'm gonna keep on arranging things here. I'd really love to see if I could find a little sofa table of some kind to put behind the love seat to maybe set some plants on. I might go out in the shop and see what I have out there. So I could not really find anything among my stash here that I want to use for a sofa table, so I'm just going to quickly make one. It won't be anything fancy, mind you. Um, I just found a section of a closet door here that I'm going to use for the top. And I have four spindles that someone once gave me from their porch railing. They didn't want them anymore. Um, I'm going to use those for the legs, of course. And then I have some pieces here, pine board, that I'll use for the skirting.
So the Craig Jig is one of the most amazing tools ever. It allows you to kind of diagonally drill a hole in a piece of wood if you want to, you know, butt it together and then screw it together. Uh, this will make more sense as I continue doing this, but just such a handy thing to have around. And I will link it down below. I had gotten this one from Amazon, I believe. So here you guys thought you were just getting a home tour and now you have to watch me make something but it happens so often when I'm decorating you know I come across an area where I feel like oh, I need something you know to put there and then instead of just patiently waiting until I'd find one somewhere I just go out in the shop and make it again nothing fancy but often it works So like I mentioned earlier, this top used to be a closet door, so it's actually hollow. It doesn't, it's not a solid piece of wood, so I really can't just fasten my legs to the top because there's nothing really to get a hold of, if that makes sense. So what I'll do is just add a few extra little boards here using my air nailer and just pin, put a lot of pins in there, enough that it'll, it'll you know, stay put. That way I have something to fasten my skirting and legs to, and this will probably make sense as I do it. As I set this uh, frame for the table behind the love seat, I realized it was too high, so what I'll do is just cut off some of the legs, and then I'll take the frame outside to paint it before putting the top on. It's much easier that way. I'm going to see how this top will look with just a coat of polyacrylic. Polyacrylic does darken wood just a bit. I wish it was a tad darker, but I can always later on just give it a coat of stain if it's not dark enough for me. So I think for now I'm not even going to fasten the top part to the bottom. It seems with those pieces of wood that I added onto the underside, um, it kind of seems to stay in place. I'll just have to remember to not take a hold of just the top if I want to move the table. Now if I was to make something like this for someone else or to sell, I definitely wouldn't do it this way, but uh, just for my own use I think it should be okay. So the top ended up being just a bit too light for me, a little bit orangish even, and I decided to apply a coat of the Valspar Antiquing Wax. I think just a little bit of this will darken it enough to suit me. Also, I didn't get a video of me painting the base, like the legs and the skirting of this piece but I ended up just using my air sprayer. I was spraying some other things anyway and gave it a coat of white paint. I decided to try something a little different for the wall above the desk. I have this beautiful old window that I'm gonna clean up and then apply some wallpaper to the back of the glass. I think it may look kind of good with a green leaf design in here. You probably recognize this paper from a previous video. I had used it in my plant space. Absolutely love it.
I have a new favorite store here in our area. It's called The Peddler. Some of the items you see here that I'm decorating with in the living room are from that store. This little basket, so cute. And then also the candle holders. The Peddler is located in Walnut Creek and I'll put their links down below in the description box. They have a website and then also an Instagram page. It is quite the place, let me tell you. I walked through there numerous times and still discovered new neat little items. And everything is just fixed up so nicely, so pretty. I wanted a family quote to hang above the sofa. I used my silhouette cameo to cut out this design. I plan to just use the same sign that I had hanging above the mantle during the winter time. I always feel a bit odd to do this, you know, removing decals, adding new ones, and I realize if I were actually, you know, buying these quotes, I would probably make another wooden sign to put this one on instead of removing the other one, but it's so easy, you know, being that I have the cameo and the cricket, it's just so easy to make another decal. And with this Oracle 631 vinyl, it's so easy to remove. So I think I'll just go this route. Uh, this new quote is available on my Etsy shop. I love this quote. It so fits our family. I am planning on putting the swing up again here in the back corner of the living room. A while back my son had been sitting in it and it actually the hook tore out of the ceiling so here I am putting a thicker one in making sure to get a good hold of the wood up there in the ceiling. I will link the swing down below in the description box. It's from Amazon. For our coffee table, I plan to use a netting birdcage of sorts that I had made years ago using a chicken fence wire, and I want a bird's nest to put inside it. So here I am outside just collecting some vines that are, you know, green enough that they won't break when I, you know, wrap them in a nest form. All I have here is some paddle wire and, and then of course my vines and then I have some moss that I got at Walmart that I plan to glue in the inside of this nest. I have these real eggs that I got at the Peddler that I plan to use for this nest. So cute.
When I saw these pretty blue striped pillows at the Peddler, I knew they would look great on our sofa. Love them. Such a pretty farmhouse style fabric. I'm excited to say we have our summer scented candles back in stock on the Etsy shop. Last time I mentioned it, we had quickly sold out. I only had a limited amount. Um, Amy, the lady that pours the candles, had taken off for a couple of weeks. So we've been out for a couple of weeks now. But again, back in stock. So make sure if you're looking for peach nectar, coconut lime, or rosemary sage, uh, check them out on the Etsy shop. I'll link it down below. They all smell amazing. The peach nectar is probably my personal favorite from those, but I would burn any of them in my home. I used a dish towel to hang this wreath. I wanted something with a little bit of blue in it, and I happened to have this pretty blue striped dish towel that worked perfectly. This wooden platform I also got at the Peddler, um, such a pretty color, and I thought it would make a great base for my cage.
I hope you guys enjoyed the spring living room tour. So far, I've kept the furniture this way. I really like it. I know I can always change it back the way it was if I get tired of it, but for now, I'm going to keep it. And if you're in the area, make sure to check out the Peddler in Walnut Creek or visit their Instagram page. They share on there what all they have going on. And then also, if you're looking for a new summer candle scent, make sure to check them out on my Etsy shop. And then also that family decal in case you're in need of something like that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.